Hi there everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Lyric. Today I would like to do an energy reading for the sun sign of Aquarius. We'll pull some um, oracle cards to get an overall feeling and then I'll close the reading off with tarot, okay? If you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. If after viewing the video you feel guided to book a personal reading with me, I'll have those details in my description box. I haven't um, been updating my box lately. I'll try to get it. I'll try to do it tonight. Um, but if you are interested in um, booking a reading with me, um, check out some of my old, older readings and the details are definitely in there. Okay. So messages for Aquarius. What do they need to know for their highest good? Messages for Aquarius. What do they need to know for their highest good? Messages for Aquarius, please. We'll take this one. Messages for Aquarius. What do they need to know for their highest good? Messages for Aquarius. Okay. Interesting. All right. And so the first card I have is She of the Woods. Peace, connection, home. So I'm getting some very serene energy here. Just, um, uh, I, maybe you're feeling this right now, just rested and calm. Maybe um, you were able to um, unwind fairly well after work this, today. And um, I don't know who she is of the woods, but um, I'm really feeling that um, she's up some kind of, I'm feeling Queen of Pentacles energy here. Um, a real grounded and stable energy, okay? Um, for your second card, I have tree spirit, strength, growth, and stability. And uh, and I, 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 here, let me put these two together. And I'm really feeling um, counterparts here, okay? Divine feminine and divine masculine. And they could both, you could both speculate um, that they're the queen and king of pentacles. So um, maybe you're watching this video because of a, um, of a partner or, or maybe you're watching this video for yourself, but uh, maybe uh, we'll uh, find out more with the tarot, okay? So let's get some more um, oracle cards. Messages for Aquarius. What? Okay, um, I've got astral travels, Poss possible, impossibility, freedom, traveler, inner dreams. Um, maybe you're dreaming about this other person. Um, maybe this person that you're um, thinking about is um, appearing to you in your dreams. Um, and that could be because you're not in um, physical um, in physical presence with this person. Uh, for some reason that you got maybe um, you and this other person live far apart or maybe you and this person um, haven't even met yet. But um, you're meeting someone um, in your dreams is what I'm feeling, okay? And for your next card, I have Banyan Blessings, Security, the Hermit, Expansion, and Stability. So a Hermit energy here, um, di um, Divine Masculine energy. Um, I am really feeling that this reading is going to be um, a love reading, so when I pull the tarot, I'm going to um, I'm going to um, uh, read it with the intention of, of love because I'm just uh, I'm just really feeling that this is what I've been shown. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the tarot, okay? So um, we'll use these ones, okay? Messages for Aquarius. What do they need to know for their highest good? Messages for Aquarius. What do they need to know for their highest good? Messages for Aquarius. Having a heck of a time today. Messages for Aquarius. Okay. So you have the Page of Coins, the Ten of Swords, the Star Card, and the Page of Swords. So um, in your pr uh, past energy, you have the page of coins. So you um, receive, 
you you received a message I feel about this connection. Um, it could have. I what I'm kind of feeling is that um, it was the the beginning of this of this connection. Okay, that this energy is um, relatively new. That you guys are um, just getting to know each other, and um, this person is appearing to you in your dreams, um, and maybe. Um, it's finally, because it keeps um, occurring, now you're starting to ask the question of like, why is this person popping up in my dreams? Okay. Um, in your present energy, you have the Ten of Swords and the Star. So you're healing from something, okay? Um, there was a painful situation that you were in that, um, that was the closing of a cycle for you. That was the closing of an energetic, I, I'm feeling it was a karmic cycle, that uh, there was some, uh, just the closing of a karmic cycle is what I'm feeling. And um, I, I'm i not so concerned with this Ten of Swords because you have the star card here. Um, and she, uh, she's looking up. She is um, in her feelings. She's um, being renewed by um, the... The, the energies of the earth and the energies of the solar system, okay? Um, and possibly as well, the, the energy of this new connection that she's found herself in, okay? Take that how it resonates. In the future energy, you have the page of swords or in the future, um, yeah. So um, some truth about what's going on is coming through. I do feel that this connection, like I said earlier, is a relatively um, new um, connection. So I don't know if um, I don't even know if you if you guys are officially dating or anything like that. But there are um, um, mutual feelings of um, of hey, what's going on here? Like um, it's, it's like something's up, um, and in both both sides know this okay so let's get some more uh, messages messages of the page of pentacles um uh um sorry me uh, messages for aquarius please what do they need to know for their highest good messages for aquarius what do they need to know for their highest good mercury retrograde i'm stumbling all over my words i apologize um, messages for Aquarius. What do you need to know for their highest good? I'm going to give these one shuffle and then I'll, I'll pull the rest of the cards. So, um, so we have the page of coins that clarifies the page of coins. So just that, um, that, um, that message about this connection. Okay. Um, is this, um, are you, is this a serious connection that you found yourself in? Like, why did I meet this person? Is this person my soulmate? Um, is this person, who is this person that is like creating these feelings inside of me? Who is this person that is visiting me in my dreams? Okay. Um, uh, you have the lover's card. So, okay. And you have the seven of cups. So what are you deciding? What options are there, okay? Are you considering going back to an X? Is that what this Ten of Swords is about? Um, let's get one more. And the Seven of Swords. So did this person lie to you? Were you lying to yourself? Um, I'm going to pull, I'm actually going to pull some more tarot. Let me take a look here real quick. Let me see. Yeah, because I, I do feel that you are... Um, in this new relationship here um, with this seven of swords or this um, lover's card and that you're in um, that you're kind of in a um, that this person that you that you are, are uh, meeting and getting to know that you like this person but you have um, you've been um, connected to um, an ex for a lot longer and that it might not have been the healthiest relationship, but it's what's familiar to you and you're afraid to let that go. Okay. Um, but you need to think about what this person has done to you and um, be prepared to um, look into the future and trust this, trust the universe. What does the universe have in store for you? Okay. Um, the truth is coming out in this situation. Okay. Okay. So um, you have free will and you can do what you like, but um, 
just really think about what that last person has done, okay? And maybe make room for something brand new. So I think that's all that I have for you, Aquarius. Take it easy.